Rollerdrome is a fast-paced, chaotic, third-person roller skating shooter full of wonderful moments and horrific failures and wins. I'm really excited to see people fall in love with the different characters or just enjoy playing as Kara. I'm really looking forward to feel people's joy. I'm Antoine Michael, I'm a lead artist on Rollerdrome. I'm Rachel, I'm a character artist on Rollerdrome. Rollerdrome is a, a third-person shooter uh, on skates. It's taking place in the future, but a different kind of future. It's a world where there is no Wi-Fi, there is no AI. We wanted the buildings to look like they could have been built in the 70s. If you see the records in game, there is a guy inside, there is a pilot. It's not a robot, we don't have robots in Rollerdrome. I was very, very fortunate to get the opportunity to um, make all of the characters. They're all my babies. <laughs> I feel I had the most creative process in was Kara's face, because she didn't have a set face for a while. A lot of the time it was just a helmet with a visor on which completely covered her face. And I wanted her face to be, I guess, serious in a way. And so she looks professional. She looks like she knows what she's doing. She might be a newer face in the sport, but she knows what she's doing. We met probably like 50 different iterations of the jumpsuit, really. We had at some point a massive patch in the back of the character, but we were seeing the, the back of the character all the time and we decided it was just too much. There was a big discussion as to whether the jumpsuit was orange or red, or orange-red or red-orange. I think someone made it a little bit more red than orange at some point, I don't know. <laughs> One of the ways to make everything work together, the characters and the environment, was definitely the colour palette. So um, it's a lot more muted, specific colours which are like associated with the 70s. I can mention uh, Akira, for example, for Explosions was a massive uh, reference for us. We, we didn't want to have this fireball, if you look at our Explosions, more like Almost like a normal explosion if you want, it's more like a, a puff of smoke with a bit of flame inside. But that's the way they were doing in, in Akira and we try to reproduce it. If you take the Riot Guard, you can see like this heavy shield that he has and you can slam into the ground. So this is really inspired by actual Riot Police. And you can see as well like his outfit is inspired by Bomb Squad, he has this padding everywhere. He looks really heavy, you can immediately see like this kind of human tank really. We got inspired by people like Moebius, Hergé, Jacobs as well, like the work of a comic book artist, if you want. I grew up reading those comic books. They are in my father's library, really, so I was seeing them, reading them as a kid. Going back to that, with an artist eye, more than like a kid eye, was, was very interesting. It's like trying to analyze how they define in a few lines what something is made of, just with little speckles on a, on a wall, and you understand immediately, like, yeah, it's a concrete wall. Oh, this is metal, or oh, this, this has been damaged. What we try to do with the, um, the narrative scene is to open a window on the backstory uh, we developed for the game, so um, you can discover what's going on behind this topic world uh, with this uh, supermassive company basically owning the world and, and owning as well the sport Rollerdrome. Even if I didn't really work on the narrative scenes and stuff like that, I still really want people to go in and like explore the world and the narrative that is there, because it is really, really cool. People should go there and discover a bit what, what's there. Yeah. I like the polybeam because of her nature of zipping around everywhere and making sure you hit her and kill her quickly or else she'll do a fair bit of damage to you. I think she's a great enemy. Making the characters is just one thing. It's like they wouldn't be what they are without the animation or the VFX that go alongside them. Like there's so much that goes into making them who they are as like as characters. So it, it's a huge collaborative effort. It's just such a good team. <laughs> it's such a good team that makes that work.